what you have here is a covered wagon from the 1880s. Uh, it's fully set up like a chuck wagon, like they would use on a cattle drive. You see the box in the back, the thing that holds dumps for cooking, showing you the running gear, how, how it was made. This is all the original running gear. The top box has been fixed, but the old, wear, old hardware is there intact. You can see that's a jack, and I'll come to that later. Uh, the, the brake system, got a new brake shoe on it. Um, that's looking inside from the to the out. Um, the picture is a little blurry, but just give you the little idea of the size. This is some of the hardware that might be seen in the chuck wagon. Food, different containers to hold food and so on. Maybe a blanket or a carpet to put down on the ground. Some water tubs and stuff like that. And another picture of the front view of the carriage. And, and side view, I put the cameras up a little bit. You see how they carry their water. There's a lasso hanging out the side of the seat there. This is a setup, um, kind of like what they do in a show. Put all this stuff out and show it around. I took all the stuff out of the box and then put it back in. Just did photograph it for you. And this is an older box, a little smaller box, so a cooking box. Does the same thing. The top uh, folds down and the ropes hold the shelf up. So it sits off the back of the cab. That's where I started to fill it up a little bit and put stuff back into it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's another shot you can see as I'm filling it up. I uh, see the different water bottles, the blue water bottles, the, the buckets. Uh, there's a bed warmer there. Some, some old uh, the, uh, you know, metal top seals, pop locks. Um, there's a big pile of leather that comes along with this. I don't know how much leather's there, but there's a lot. Very, very found. Some of those burlap sacks there are just full of styrofoam just for looks. Some are just filled with the leather. Yeah, there you can see the back of the way, and that's where they cooked off the shelf. This is... Um, this is a doctor's buggy, or I call it it's a buggy. It was a four-wheel buggy. It's 1900s. Um, I took it and had it redone. The wheels were redone, and the bimini top and the seats were redone by the Amish. Plus, they fixed a few other pieces of broken wood. It does need to be painted, but it's a cute little buggy. I mean, it's solid and everything else, but it, it you know it needs a little TLC, which wouldn't take much. Um, and uh, you know, I'm open to any offers on it. I just uh, need to move it. it needs to find a home. Somebody will enjoy it. Uh, it's an outlet that's used for me. I uh, just got too much stuff and I have to get rid of some. Uh, there's a trailer I have for sale also, but it's it's uh just has to go. There's my airboat motor. That's a 350 LT1 Corvette motor. You can see the prop in the gearbox in that photo. That's uh, under the canvas. That's the two seats. Uh, that's just the overall size of the boat and the trailer. This boat it is LT1, it is a six blade warping prop. There's another picture of my trailer for sale. The boat, the front of the boat, side of the boat. It's a banded hull, chrome molly, tubing, headers, nice motor, aluminum, everything. Uh, it really flies. It's only had mobile one, mobile one oil filters on it. But there's the uh, another view of the trailer. That's inside the trailer, just some stuff I got stored in there that needs to come out. You know, it doesn't go with the trailer unless you want it. There's a shed, 30 foot shed full of stuff I'm selling. And an old hay wagon. It's kind of some junk on it, but it's going it on a road good. This is cooking going. It's all cast iron. It's for the fire for the chuck wagon. Now, you set up different setups to hang the pots, set the pots, the coffee pot, the. Uh, the the, the metal tin cups, the metal plates, you know, for the beans or whatever they're feeding, uh, different kinds of tools they use for the cooking. And this should have a fire underneath it for the real effect, but uh, it's all there. This all goes with the covered wagon, the chuck, the wagon roundup kind of deal. But it's a beautiful display. Uh, it'd be great for your business, whether you're a politician and you want to use it, or a museum or just doing craft shows and uh, like Civil War reenactments and stuff like that. Maybe different museums that have shows like Pinellas County. This did show at the Pinellas County show. It's one of a few in Florida. It's a very nice unit. Mm -hmm.